no, no, on the ground, on the ground. They say Matula is the most bombed town in Israel. You needn't be here long to find out why. The town has been bombarded like this for a year, surrounded on three sides by Hezbollah. Israel has closed this area to journalists throughout this war. We were among the first to visit under military escort. We've been brought right up against the border with Lebanon here. That is the border fence there with those white pylons intercepting it along the hillside there. This is as close as Israelis have been prepared to bring journalists since their invasion of Lebanon began over a week ago. A sign, perhaps, of their confidence about the way that operation is going. Since Israeli forces crossed this border, there's been heavy fighting just inside Lebanon for a week, with Hezbollah forced back from the border. The few Israelis left in this deserted town say their military shouldn't leave Lebanon until it's destroyed the enemy completely. How long do you think the Israeli army should stay in Lebanon? Until it will be quiet, until we will finish Hezbollah. I think we need to destroy Hezbollah, to finish them, to all the organization. Uh, and after that, it will be peace. And it's, it can be done. Sounds like a long war. Yeah, but uh, we are strong. Israel's invasion of Lebanon appears to be deepening, and its airstrikes are hitting targets across the country. Here in the Bekar Valley today, many miles north. The UN today said its peacekeepers were struck too, injured when an Israeli tank shell was fired on their post. When it launched its invasion 10 days ago, Israel called it a limited operation that would end when people feel safe and can return to their homes. Another alarm? OK. You have to go, Patch. From what's going on on the border, that seems a distant prospect for now. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Matula in northern Israel.